So when somebody sees you do that, it's a massive brownie point because they recognize that you know that this is your next stage of career growth. In the UK, we're only taking child hours to the point where every time they step on and step off, that's a meaningful point for them because they're working to certain hours. For adults, you don't need to say, it's just the first time that they step on set, when they go for lunch, not even when they come back from lunch and when they wrap and when they leave at the end of the day. So it, it's only in the beginning of the day, like times for if if somebody is really interested, but as, as an AD, you don't necessarily do a very detailed report on when they go to makeup, when they go to costume, but it can be a very useful thing for when they are effectively late every single day or when they're taking way longer than anticipated and a producer level is asking you what the fuck is happening on the floor or at base, then you have the documentation. But to that yeah. level, not every production needs it or wants it. Now, with when you're working with American actors, I never specifically know because I'm extremely bad at looking at times, even like with when we're moving on from one shot to another, because you do that with setups as well. That That's yeah. the other thing that goes into the AD report. When are we starting a scene or a new setup? And when I'm, it's usually by scenes. When are we starting a new scene and when are we finishing a scene? I'm terrible at that. It's, it's just not instinctive for me to immediately look at my phone. And sometimes I just ask, like whenever I'm, I'm seconding or I need this kind of information, I just establish a completely new chat with whoever is reporting. Sometimes it's a runner because sometimes third ADs just pass this on. And all I want in that entire chat is just timings. Not even hi, not even thank you. I just want times because <laughs> it's just a lot easier to do a report like that. But like, and some, sometimes people are just overly zealous about it. It's just like, this is when we start a setup. This is when we finish a setup. I'm like, no, I don't need that. I don't, I don't, I just minimal information, just only what I need. So ask what is useful for them. It's different in every production. Children, yes. For children, you have to take a little bit more detailed documentation. And I think it's in the American equivalent of the equity deal that, um, some American actors are working to certain hours. So it's really important to count those hours. So that's when you are just paying attention to when they step on and step off a little bit more. But those are just rare cases and, and people who are doing the documentation will be able to tell you what they need exactly.